one more we will do is call the pavan mukta supta pavan mukta asana supta supta means lying down pavan means against wind mukta means release this is called pavan mukta asana just see how it is done here need to raise our legs inhaling bend exhale <clears throat> now we bring the knees as much close to the chest exhaling <clears throat> now inhaling i take deep breath no trying to touch the knees this is how we do here <clears throat> if you can't bring it so much don't strain just this much is enough and how much ever there are two variations in this one is inhale and you exhale completely here thigh muscle should press against the abdomen this activates the digestive organs and also you should not go like this you should be straight exhale like this <clears throat> and once you exhale then only inhale and come up so you are actually any wind any blockage anything it gets all released it releases from this part this is what we do this activate the digestive system now this we do with this leg also this we can do three times by the other side now the next alternative or variation in breathing is inhale here we exhale completely and without the breath you raise up this activates the respiratory system <clears throat> position is the same but the breathing variation activates the digestive and the respiratory system raise the right leg up inhale bend no this leg is straight <clears throat> bend the knees hold the knees <clears throat> hold the knees with both the hands now exhale completely <sighs> inhale raise the head no strength to touch the knees hold on 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 exhale head to the floor hands to the sides raise your legs straight up straight and stretched slowly bring it down <clears throat> got it that's how we need to do now do the left leg up bend hold exhale completely that leg is straight <clears throat> as much as possible inhale 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nine exhaling head to the floor hands to the sides raise your legs straight up slowly bring it down this is called supta pavan mukta asana and this activates the digestive system it helps all the wind everything to be removed from this part of the body now you can do once again at your own counting come do straighten bend hold exhale completely inhale and come up 1 two, 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 exhale head to the floor hands to the sides <clears throat> raise your legs straight up slowly bring it down now raise the left leg up inhale bend the knees hold the knees with both the hands exhale inhaling raise up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 exhaling head to the floor hands to the sides raise your leg straight up straight and stretch slowly bring it down got it this we can do five times if you want or you can increase it to more but as you advance in yoga we don't do more number of times what we do is we hold on for longer time when you hold on for longer time you actually strengthen plus it improves the circulation and the energy in the part 
today yoga people think is just some running and power yoga they say you know more and more you are exhaust you are you will get exhausted actually the real essence of yoga is not exerting too much it is holding in positions for a longer time that gives you everything now raise both the legs up <coughs> bend the knees hold the knees with both the hands inhale first exhale exhale come bring it close now inhale nose in between the knees hold on 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 exhaling head to the floor hands to the sides raise your legs straight up straight and stretch that's it take deep breath exhaling slowly bring it down <coughs> slowly bring it down that's it do it once again inhale bend the knees hold the knees with both the hands exhale completely now inhale come up 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 exhaling head to the floor hands to the sides raise your leg straight up slowly bring it down <coughs> Okay. Take a deep breath, relax. This also we can do three times or five times initially. Then you can reduce it by holding on for longer time. And in any posture we say sukham stiram asana. Any posture that you do, you should be very comfortable and steady. Should never ever overstrain. And maximum if you can be in a posture for one minute or two minutes or three, maximum is three minutes. then we say you have mastered the posture so these things you have to do it now we will do one more stretch this for the spinal also fingers intertwined placed underneath the neck onto the floor raise both the legs up now first you bend the knees this is a one first stage <coughs> little more forward now take the legs to one side look at the opposite side opposite side when you get the stretch shoulder elbow should be on the floor feel the stretch from the shoulder the waist the entire part breathe in and breathe out normal breathing breathe in and breathe out nicely slow deep breathing now take deep breath exhaling go to the other side look at the opposite side <coughs> opposite side breathe in and breathe out this is called supta udara karshanasana supta means lying down udara means your trunk you are rolling to the sides can you feel the stretch get the shoulders from here the waist everything this is also good to reduce your sides once again heel exhaling to the side one leg on top of the other breathe in and breathe out do it five times inhale exhaling to the side look at the opposite side got it so you should practice it every day slow deep breathing at least 3 breaths or 5 breaths you can do in the posture but stretch nicely ensure that you are stretching 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 nicely straighten relax these are some of the simple uh, abdominal series
actually um, called Naukasana, the shape of the boat. <clears throat> Your feet is together and the head is also down. Now I raise the head and the body a little and the feet also. <clears throat> Just observe. We inhale, take the breath and then hold on in this position. This is the first thing. We can do this three times. Then there's an advance like we tighten all the muscles. This relaxes the entire nerves of the body. So I'll just do it once again. Inhale. Here you look at the toes, you know, big toe. And you just hands above the thighs parallel to the body. This you can hold how long ever you can. And the next stage you do, you tighten all the muscles, the chest. Inhaling, raise the legs and the head six inches above, hands above the thighs, parallel to the body. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exhaling down. <coughs> Take a deep breath, normalize your breath. Once again, inhaling up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, head to the floor, hands to the sides, take a deep breath. This is called Naukasana. It strengthens the abdominal muscles and it's also very good to energize the body. You know, all the nerves are nicely stretched when you tighten also next time when you do. Come on. Now tighten all the muscles of the body, the fist tighten, the eyes tightly close, the teeth gritting, all the muscles tighten. Come on. Inhale, tightening, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Little more, little more, little more. Don't leave, tighten. Relax. When you relax, it should come. As you go down itself, it comes like that. We'll do once again. Come on. Tighten the whole body. Inhaling, tightening up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tighten, tighten, tighten. The eyes tightly close. The teeth gritting. Tighten, tighten a little more. Don't leave. Relax. Exhale and go. That's it. Palms facing upwards. Feet apart, feet one and a half to two feet apart, lie down in Shavasana, relax. 
is a simple basic which anyone can start with then as we progress i think we can once we leave the beginners level we can go into the there are plenty of abdominal and spinal exercise so initial, initial starting for the beginners practice we initially teach them the basics of abdominal then there are plenty of variations in other things TV. Hi, and welcome to Marine Biz TV. You're watching the world's first global maritime TV channel. TV, the global maritime television channel, is globally covered through the satellites Tycom 5 on C band and Hotbird 6 on KU band. The Europeans can receive KU band signals from Hotbird 6 by installing a dish antenna of 60 to 120 centimeters. Details to tune the receiver for Marine Biz TV. For KU band signals from Hotbird 6. Frequency 11.013 GHz. Polarity horizontal. Symbol rate 27500. FEC 3 by 4. Video PID 258. Audio PID 514. For the rest of the world, C band on Thicom 5 brings the channel on your screen through a dish antenna of 8 feet to 10 feet. Details to tune the receiver for Marine Biz TV for C band from Tycom 5. Frequency 3.551 GHz. Polarity horizontal. 
सिंबल रेट वन डबल थ्री डबल थ्री एफ ई सी थ्री बाई फोर वीडियो पी आई डी वन टू एट वन ऑडियो पी आई डी वन टू एट टू फॉर फर्दर क्लैरिफिकेशन प्लीज फील फ्री टू कॉन्टैक्ट अस एट फीडबैक एट मरीन बिस्ट टीवी डॉट कॉम fact uh, today we just uh, did the preliminary of the uh, pavan muktasana abdominal series and this we can start for a beginner when they get into the initial steps in yoga especially for the digestive system and abdominal practice and as we progress there are plenty of other asanas which we can strengthen the entire spinal and abdominal muscles and breathing also plays a major role so i think for a beginner this is the base for which they can start with then as they progress they can get into the intermediate and to the advanced actually uh, preparations and rules of the basic thing is whenever we do yoga we always say start the practice in the early mornings because early morning is a time when no one in the world will disturb you that's your personal time we call it as the brahma muhurta between 3 to 6 is the your personal time after the 6 o'clock you are at the beck and call family children office and so many things so if you bring it as a regular practice when you do it as every day in the early mornings you can continue it throughout your life and your stomach will be empty you after fresh up and everything will be bowls everything will be empty so you can do your practice nicely so that's why i always say start it in the morning even in the evening those who come back from office they fresh up and they should not have any food before the practice so if ever they have had any food there should be at least 4 hours gap after if it is a heavy lunch 2 hours if it is um, something light and half an hour at least even water many people you can see they drink water and do the jogging and all but in yoga we generally say don't take water in between practices why it is because yoga activates all the systems we activate the circulatory respiratory nervous system digestive system eliminatory system and when these systems beautifully operate the any hormonal imbalances or endocrine glands functioning becomes balanced it balances the imbalances now whenever you drink water in between it's the body stops this balancing process it goes on to follow your digestive process so that's why we say never take water also immediately after yoga at least 15 20 minutes gap you leave so the body can re- recover or recoup or come back to balancing state if you take water it stops that and it your water digestion it goes to the other functioning why do people say that when you Uh, it's not advisable to load your stomach and do such exercises in- because when you're st- it's like you know when the body is is having food the body is already doing one job see whenever a person is carrying heavy load you again from him tell him to do this and that he can't do it's overburdening and it can destroy the system it can destroy the person so that's why with food you are not supposed to do exercise but whereas if you have something and you are walking and all it's fine it's a normal activity but strenuous exercises or yoga you combining all the activities of the body which can disturb your system that's why so with this we come to the end of this episode but this is just the beginning because i am having the problem with exercises and it's really working for me uh, it's just relaxed my entire system as far as the abdomen is concerned but we are going to bring you more and more and more of these in the coming episodes until then See you and goodbye.